Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at the Ice Sports Forum in Brandon, Florida. We are at least back in business for now. Summer 2019 over 50 hockey season with six teams. We are excited. Second half of the season ready to begin for these two squads here as it'll feature the Gray Wolves taking on the Black Aces. Gray Wolves coming in at 2-2-2 after a 4-0 loss to the Golden Knights last week in what has been a lack of offensive production, which they hope to turn around here today, as the Black Aces at 1-5 coming off of a 5-3 loss to the Blue Bombers, who just picked up their second win last week over the fall to the Red Army earlier today, 7-2. But a big game upcoming here for both of these squads. Hi, everybody. Angelo Pontello bringing you the broadcast action alongside me. My co-partner in crime back in business again, Andy Townsend. Andy, it's been forever, brother. It has been way too long, Angelo. And right now, over 50 Hawkins just couldn't get any better with six teams in the mix. And against these two teams right now, really strong capabilities. We'll get into a little bit more of that later throughout this broadcast. But I'm really excited to see what Gray has up their sleeves against this Black Ace squad. Well, as we talk about the Great Wolves, and one of the biggest things last week, the reason why they were struggling so much on offense was there was only about six to eight players on their roster at the time or that showed up last week. So really, that's where we're coming up with the lack of offensive production. But they still, nevertheless, found a way to stay afloat and not turn it into a blowout, which is key. They were outshot on shots on goal by the Golden Knights, 27, and they only had six shots on goal. Part of the reason is you were missing guys like Doug Radigan and Jim Becker, who is back in business. And so for Andy, when I look at Jim Becker, I think it's going to be another turnaround. Well, there's a reason why this over 50 hockey veteran is back in business. Currently leading this season in seven, or currently leading the season with nine assists, leads all over 50 hockey players in that category. But Becker really is going to be key today on offense to try to set up plays. When you look at the Grey Wolves as well, Andy, I mean, you look at the the production you you have to wonder why they're two two and two despite being the team that is has the second most goals in this over 50 hockey league. well sometimes goals don't always equal victories you know you could have some big you could have some big shootout games going on you could have high scoring affairs and you just don't know how to finish but i mean keep in mind angelo there's a reason why there's two shootout losses on the category that is exactly what they do they find ways to score that is the big thing if you're in over 50 hockey but you also have to realize too that it's the defensive factor and defense is going to play key as well and quickly over to the black aces side a team that has started off one in five this season has 21 goals to their name but one of the big reasons for that has been jim thomas who we're trying to see if he's located out on the ice but he is second in over 50 hockey when it comes to goal score and that's a big offensive production so with that, we'll take a quick break here, and when we come back, we'll have face off to you. Game starting quickly here. As the puck will be moved up quickly for the Black Aces. This is Jim Thomas weaving his way through the defenders. Gets the pass back up, sets up the shot, and it is saved by Mark Rosengard. Rosengard, a longtime over 50 hockey vet, intending the twine for the Grey Wolves here today. And Rosengard has always had a big storyline himself. Well, he's had his fair share of championships, but the biggest thing I like about Rosengard is the reactionary skills he's right there in the right position making most of those saves and you know a quality that you really don't have as an over 50 hockey player or you see in a lot of over 50 hockey keepers it's it truly is spectacular how you see some of these veterans coming in season after season finding a way to get through and really stepping up and making an impact for your team black ace is moving up early taken away by communal Finds Becker a chance here to score. Fires the shot. 
and it is stopped. So kicked out save, Puck is still on the move. Black Ace is trying to come up with some offensive production as it gets back to Washburn. Sets up to Stewie Mickelson. Taken away by Buckholz. Buckholz finds his way towards the outside. Looking to set back up to Sincata. And that'll be denied by Wersinski. Bernie Wersinski, another defensive veteran here for the Black Aces trying to make an impact. Well, that's a big thing is when you got all these veteran players that know one another by this time after playing for so long, the biggest thing is you know, Oh, not just your team's weaknesses and strengths, but you know the opponents as well. You've had about eight years to come around and really just know the team's efforts here. And it truly is a over 50 hockey community where you're really just finding ways to know each other's strengths and weaknesses. And that's always key. Shot attempt by Mikita, knocked away by Rosengard. Set up back on point is Shiriko. Taken away by... Quicko. Quicko will skate this one up. A three on two chance. Looking back for Buckholz. Takes the shot himself and just ends up dumping it in. Back is Mikita. Chiquetto with the check. Paul Chiquetto getting in the mix, but back to Mikita for the Black Aces. Charles Inman. We'll keep it in the Black Ace zone. And the Black Ace is off the line change. We'll go ahead and dump it inside the Gray Wolf then, courtesy of Shiriko. Becker returns the favor and an icing call up coming. In both squads here is really key that you can't, you can't budge an inch. Again, the Black Aces have been dying for an opportunity to just put something in the back of the net. Meanwhile, Grey Wolves, you got Becker back in business, a little bit more of your offensive production, and you're looking to try to find ways to create your chances. And right now, the Black Aces, in my opinion, right now at this time, Angelo, have had the setup, and now they're on verge of potentially scoring the first goal. Shiriko, and this one heads out of the ring. Face off again in the Grey Wolf zone. Head referee today, Ron Buckner. Will do the honors for the face off between Thomas and Communal. This puck back in the Grey Wolf end. Rosengard feeds it out to Inman. Looking for Becker's. Got him. Wersinski takes a tumble. Misses Kami now. Pernice trying to skate up for the puck. In the Black Ace zone. Harrison looking for options. Finds Pernice left side. Arid pass back to the Black Aces. Finley out of his reach. Intercepted by Becker. This is Inman. Off the boards. Stripped loose by Wersinski as he comes back in the black ace end. So cleared out all the way back towards deep in the Grey Wolf zone. Harrison regroups. Harrison looking back with Buckholz. Becker fires the shot wide left. Rebounded by the Black Aces as Finley is on the move. Finds a good setup. Mike Rossi. Back to Mickelson. Mickelson, Finley, intercepted by Buckholz. And Bucky will just simply dump it into the Black Ace zone as Grey Wolves will make a line change where Sinski regroups for the Black Aces. Finds Finley. The Dayton, Ohio product will just dump it into the Grey Wolf end as it gets regrouped by Masherin. Stripped loose by Washburn. Back over to Buckholz. Uh, 
So simply dumped into the Grey Wolf end again. Quicko regroups. A chance here for Masherin. Backhands it. Knocked away by Rosengard. Regrouped by Sincata. Buckles will clear it out again. Gives the Grey Wolf some breathing room here. And again, Angelo, we see the Black Aces on the attack here. They're finding ways to give themselves as many opportunities as possible. We're really not seeing an offensive push from the Grey Wolves here. And the Black Aces, once again, another opportunity. Maikita knocked away by Rosengard. Quick go back to Chiquetto. Stopped by Mickelson, taken up by Buckholz. Muscles his way through on the left side, open chance. Shot fired and it's saved by the keeper. And of course, Jay Hannon filling in for Lonnie Herman today. And Hannon, the Blue Bomber goalie, suffering a 7-2 defeat at the hands of the Red Army earlier or in the game, in the earlier game today. And will now have an opportunity to show his defense. Kaminao on the faceoff. This is back over towards Mickelson. And so with that, Emin dumps it into the end. And an icing all call upcoming. Five and a half minutes to go in the opening period. No score here at the iSports Forum against two teams trying to to buy their way through mid-season form, trying to secure one of the four spots for the upcoming over 50 hockey playoffs. And that's the big thing too, Angelo. Now that you have six teams, it's not as simple as every team makes the playoffs. You're still gonna have four teams, and now a little something more to play for versus just 12 preseason games, if you will, that we've mentioned in previous broadcasts and the playoffs being the real deal. You have to earn your way to the playoffs this time. Thomas. Intercepted by Harrison. Back over to Becker. Harrison can't hold on to the puck. It'll be taken away as the pass is back to Worsinski. Bernie back to Phil Sharico. Deep in the Black Ace zone. We'll fire it up to Thomas. Inman slips. Jim Thomas. Stripped loose by Becker, rebounded by Finley. And this is Becker, back to Harrison. Kaminal's got Pernice to work with. Heading into the Black Ace zone. Kaminal with the shot, deflected off of Shiriko. Washburn Kaminal. Off the boards, Becker finds Kaminal. Shot opportunity. Knocked off the hand or the glove of Hannon. Worsinski back to Thomas. Sliding back to Harrison. Has two black aces upcoming. Fires the pass. Misses Pernice. And this was heading all the way back in the end for the icing call. We saw... We saw a few good opportunities there for the Grey Wolves. Kominal with a shot. Jim Becker had his chance as well. But it's going to take a little bit more than just shots on goal if you're going to look to try to get it past Jay Hannon. So with 4-1 to go in the opening period, it's Tom Buckles taking the face off against Michael Wiener. Wersinski back to Mickelson. Mickelson, a longtime veteran of the over 35 Hockey League, a reactor player that moved up to the over 50 Hockey League just recently, and a strong defensive addition for any over 50 hockey team. One big thing about Mickelson is, especially with his length, you kind of see a little bit that Mario Lemieux as a defenseman, but you know, anytime you get guys from the over 35 league trying to make the adjustment to the over 50 Hockey League, there are some adjustments, it's just that. You have to find a way to blend in. You already have the speed and the talent to oversize your match. And a chance here for Masherin, knocked away by Rosengard, tipped up high, and no goal is called. A high stick there on Masherin as he tapped it in. Backside off the crossbar, knocked down, but of course the goal will wave off. 
course, rightly so, the goal being waved off that time. And so, puck will be moved all the way back in the gray wolf end for the faceoff. Or check that black aces end. Now I'm starting to get my teams confused, Andy. Well, it, it, that's the thing with over 50 hockey. Not very often do you see a high sticking, a high stick goal chance there. Masherin, again, right position, but just unlucky positioning of the stick. And now with the uh, high stick call, it's an opportunity for the Grey Wolves to really try to keep this in the black ace zone and see what they can do offensively. And so this will come back for an icing call. So the puck coming back into the black ace zone while both teams make some lineup changes here. So Buckholtz with the faceoff upcoming for the Gray Wolves. Back at defense, Charles Inman at the right defense position. Scott Harrison back at left defense. This is Inman. Inman working against Thomas and it gets knocked away by Harrison. Intercepted by Finley. Thomas right side. Back is to Buckholz. Tom Buckholz finds Chiquetto off his feet. Mickelson comes in the way, breaks it up. Back over to Buckholz. Bucky with the shot goes in! Tom Buckholz fought his way through, got around Stewie Mickelson that time and just broke it free. One-on-one -on -one shot against Jay Bird and he strikes first for the Grey Wolves. And that's exactly what you need and that's something we did not see from the Grey Wolves last week. Not a lot of offensive chances there, but it's Tom Buckholz that gets it through and the over 50 hockey vet from Minnesota has struck first for the Grey Wolves. One nothing for the Grey Wolves, a big goal there for a team that's looking to get to 3-2-2 two, and two on the season. And when we talk about this Grey Wolf team that once they have at least a few offensive pieces, they'll be back in business. Thomas trying to make a move knocked away by Rosengard. Second chance here, Jim Thomas deflected off a of communal and taken up by Harrison. Deflected by Thomas Wersinski trying to get a handle. And instead, Becker takes it away. Back is to Rossi. Stripped loose by Becker. Taken up by Finley. Golden chance here. Shot taken. Bounced off of Rosengard. Knocked high. Rossi with the rebound shot. Rosengard stops it with a save. So we see these opportunities now from the Black Aces. They have every potential chance of scoring and tying this up. But Mark Rosengard playing lights out right now on that last drive. Really holding up strong for this Grey Wolf defense. Kamino with the defense back. Shot flipped high. Wersinski looking to clear this one out. Finds an open Rossi on the left side. Harrison back. Rossi. Shot fired, kicked out by Rosengard. Rebounded by the Aces. Thomas taken back now by Harrison. And Finley with the hooking call. No call there. Referees are going to let this one go by. And that's going to be a key no call there. Right now, Grey Wolves looking to take advantage here, trying to get every chance they can to keep it in the Black Ace end. <laughs> Final minute of the opening period, Rosengard. Tom Buckle steps up. Finds Inman, working against Chirico. Back is to Sincata. And, and the puck just going over the blue line that time. As Inman was unable to get back on sides. And so that'll halt play with 45 seconds in this first period. Larry Sincata will take the face off. Buckholz back to Quicko. That's a penalty upcoming here.
or at least we thought it might have been a penalty essentially but it appears Ron Buckner just waved off the call there with 20.7 seconds and so this will come up to Quickle on the left side well that's a little bit interesting there I thought that might have potentially we might have saw something penalty wise we saw the hand up so perhaps it might have just been a, a waved off call there Chiquetto back to Sincata. Stripped loose and taken away. Mickelson softly clears it out as time expires. Tom Buckles coming in with the first goal of the game, being the scoring difference in this game of the week for over 50 hockey. 1-0 Gray Wolves looking to stay atop the Black Aces when we return. You're watching over 50 hockey's game of the week on the Pontello Broadcasting Network. He is Angelo Pontello of the Over 50 Hockey League. He is the Over 50 Elite Hockey Player. He is the most interesting hockey player in the world. I don't always break my clavicle playing hockey, but when I do, I use rock tape. Play healthy, my friends. So we now get a quick glance at the standings thus far. Again, like we mentioned earlier, the Red Army with a 7-2 victory over the Blue Bombers will jump to 7-0, stay atop of first place as the Green Hornets will still have their hold on second place, coming up with their fifth win today after narrowly escaping with a 3-2 win in the final minutes of their game against the Golden Knights who dropped to 3-4, and four, looking to keep their third place standing pending this game right now gray wolves with a win would jump up to the third place standing looking to try to get back after losing to the gold knights last week for nothing as gray wolves again trying to hold on to that fourth place spot blue bombers dropping to two and five after losing to the red army and then of course the black aces trying to tie the blue bombers at the end of today with a win over the a potential win over the gray wolves at that so second period, about to commence. Jim Thomas and Todd Kaminal at center ice. Back to Becker. Kaminal. Skating into the black ace end, taken away by Mickelson. Taken up by Harrison. Shot fired off to the left side. Black aces trying to clear it out. Stopped by Harrison again. Kaminal looking for the setup pass. Taken away. Here comes Rossi. Black aces with the potential two on one. Pass gets to Thomas. Jim Thomas regroups, finds Mickelson, shot blocked by Kaminal. And Kaminal will clear this one out for the icing call. And so another over 50 hockey vet in the center. Very familiar with the ice sports forum as well. Currently the head coach of the Durant High School Hockey Club. Plays their games here at the ice sports forum, considered an official rink for the school out based in Plant City. And with the upcoming Lightning High School Hockey League upcoming in August, he'll be looking forward to another strong season coaching the Durant Cougars. And again, for Durant post posting two teams in the spring 2019 season that just concluded this past Friday at the Ice Sports Forum as Kaminal himself off to the right side trying to set this one back up to Becker. But finishing the point there, very hockey based. And Todd Kaminal looking to bring Durant's hockey program to even greater heights this upcoming fall 2019 season. And the biggest thing too is, especially in Florida, Angelo, you don't see a thing like the high school, the Lightning High School Hockey League as a big important factor in this time and now, but that's something that they're looking to try to improve and build up here in the fall 2019 season, especially after the Lightning success this past season in the NHL. It's very important that you want to try to build up something like that, get the high schoolers knowing about the game of hockey, and it can be really exciting if it's treated right. Buckholt bides his time, left side, looking back to Sincata off his stick and taken away by Wersinski. 
Oh, good defense there by Bernie. Really finding his way against Sig Porter. Makes a move around Buckholz as well. I mean, that's what the Black Aces need to start. And now is an opportunity for them to try to tie it up. Hug back to Nicholson. Maikita. Fires the shot. Rosengard knocks it away. Rebounded by Washburn. 9.36 in the second period. Gray Wolves with a tight 1-0 lead trying to get their third win of the summer 2019 season as Mickelson looks for options. Looking for the pass back around. This is Wiener against Quicker. Deflected by Washburn. Out to Chiquetto. Chiquetto just gets it off to Sincata. Mickelson almost came through with a strip. Sincata shot fired, sucked in by Hannon, who will fall on it for the save. And right now, Angelo, other than the low shot Buckholz made earlier back in the first period, Jay Hannon has done everything he could to keep this black ace team in the matchup, and it's a matter of trying to find some offensive power. Long game again, just early on in the second period, like you mentioned, Andy. But the biggest thing now is as much as you want to try to find that offensive power. And just like we talked about there, Todd Kanyu now comes in and extends the lead for the Gray Wolves. Kanyu now with his fourth goal of the summer 2019 season. Extending the lead for the Gray Wolves, who right now have just hit gold when it comes to that offensive power. Well, again, we it, it, it sounds a little bit like a surprise, but at the same time, there's a reason why, if you just have the right players in business, that it could be anyone's game, and you can really see the power of this Gray Wolf offense. Again, when you're missing Becca from last week, and you're trying to find some offensive spark, again, this was a motivated game for them. We had a chance to talk to Kominal as well before the game. And one of the biggest things he said was, without Doug Radigan, without Jim Becker last week, there was only so much they could do and there wasn't really limited offensive opportunities. And Becker looking to make it three, nothing hits crossbar. Orsinski stopped by Kominal, regains his own possession. But that's absolutely key there. You see the offense, Andy, and it has been tremendous for this Gray Wolf team. Shot fired back. Harrison with possession. Off the boards, picks it up to Chiquetto. Chiquetto will just clear it out. Buckholz in the corner, sets up to Harrison. Sincata fires on. Blocked away. Inman keeps it in the black ace zone. Finley clears it out. Finds Thomas in the Gray Wolf zone. Back is Harrison. Open Mickelson for the shot. Can't control off the stick. And another missed opportunity as Inman slips. Thomas looking for take two. Fires a shot. Rosengard knocks it away. Mickelson off the rebound. Finley. Buckholz showing pressure. Finley shot fired and just over the crossbar. Another chance here for the Black Aces as they try to come away with a, a goal to cut the deficit. Shot taken. Rosengard stone cold stop for the Gray Wolves as this one gets kicked out. Hannon regroups as Shariko picks up the puck. Black Aces making a few substitutions. This one back to Thomas. Shot right into Buckholz. And he gets it back to Shariko. And so offsides, the call is Shariko was still trying to make something out of it. But again, let's go back to that last drive, Andy. This man here just knows how to find a way to stop shots anytime possible. Well, that's the premier factor about Mark Rosengard. You know, despite giving up uh, a little under four or goals a game, anytime you get a big matchup like this, he knows when to play. He's seen the potential before. 
And he, again, he's another one of those keepers, Angelo, that you don't just simply score on him. You have to be meticulous about it and you have to get multiple opportunities. Mickelson. Back in the corner, Mikeo looking to clear it out off the stick of Quicko. Mickelson trying to skate through two Grey Wolf defenders, could not. Washburn. Kaminal trying to get to the puck, could not. Chirico keeping it in play. Jeff Quicko will move up with the puck. Three on one chance for the Grey Wolves. Finds Becker, open chance, shot fired off to the right. Second chance there, no one to finish for the Grey Wolves as it's picked up by Mickelson for the Black Aces. Finds an open Rossi left side. No one there for the finish. Picked up by Wiener, looking for a shot chance. Looking for the pass, picked up by Becker. Sharico keeps it away from Becker. 5.25 in the second period. Sharico will choose to dump it in the Grey Wolf end. Black Aces with a few substitutions upcoming, as do the Grey Wolves. Now we might start to see a little bit of offense brewing here for this Black Aces team. It's about finding the right players and keeping it within the Grey Wolf end. Just as soon as you say that though, Andy Buckholz finds Washburn. And here comes Buckholz. Three on two. Sincata shot off to the left side. Picks up his own rebound. No one there for the Grey Wolves. Finley picks it up for the Black Aces. And Wiener will clear this one out. Chiquetto finds Buckholz. Back to Harrison. Has Sincata. Shot fired. Glove hand saved by Hannon. So now you see the Grey Wolves getting their first line back up there. We see Kominal. We see Jim Becker coming out. And Mickelson on cue for defense comes out for the Black Aces as well. Well, the key thing, you got it, you, again, kind of going back to Steve Mickelson a little bit. Again, the guy who came from the Reactors a while back, jumps into this over 50 hockey league. A guy that comes in at the defense position. And again, Andy, like you and I have seen so many times, there is so many forwards. And with this league, it's been primarily about scoring. But you don't get to see too many defensemen that could potentially make an impact. Right. And other than, say, Angelo Pontello and uh, Bernie Wasinski, uh, two names that I can think of off the top of my head. Any other star player you think for over 50 hockey has been a forward or they played on the offensive side of position? And, you know, big thing is as there's more teams that come into this league and more players, you get to see a little bit more of the broad side of uh, talent and, and diversity amongst the positions. And that's where we see the defensemen. That's when we see guys like Stewie Mickelson, like you're talking about, Angelo, where a guy that can really skate up when needed and just find a way to position himself to make plays. Mickelson to Thomas. Jim Thomas, intercepted by Becker, who looks to clear it out. Back to Wersinski by center ice. Wersinski winds up for the shot, kicked away by Rosengard. It's a good effort there by Bernie, but maybe perhaps a little bit more uh, air on that shot could have been a goal. Thomas looking for Mickelson, stopped, and it's deflected and taken away by the Grey Wolves. Becker just misses the pass to Kaminal as he regroups. Stopped by Wersinski. Kaminal shot over the net. Grey Wolves, Mikita deflects it. Back to Chiquetto. Picked up by Rossi. Rossi on the move right side, winds up for the shot, and Rosengard snags it for the save. There you go, Michael. That's it. So now we start to see the Black Aces get a little bit of rev up in their shots here. Lots of shot fire powers. Wasinski by the blue line taking a chance, and then Mike Rossi that time trying to wind up himself. They're starting to warm up Rosengard a little bit. And now it's an opportunity here for the Black Aces to finish and get a goal on the board. Down 2 nothing against the Grey Wolves with 2.41 to go in the second. Black Aces are going to need as much offensive firepower as they can. Mickelson to Mikita in the Grey Wolf end. Taken up by Quicko. 
Sincata. Sincata will take this himself. Working around Wiener. Sincata shot fired, glove bounced off of Tannen. And this one heading back to the Grey Wolf zone. Washburn trying to make a second hand effort, making the stop. This is the pass to Quicko, finds Chiquetto. Buckholtz off the side, picks it up to Sincata. A shot chance, or a pass chance there for Chiquetto, broken up by the Aces. Wiener with the puck right side. Quickle steps up, now taken by Mickelson. Two on one here for the Black Aces. Mickelson looking to feed this one off to Masher and instead stop by Washburn. And that was another defenseman I was going to mention, Angelo, that a longtime over 50 hockey veteran that really doesn't get his uh, due share in terms of what he can do on the ice. This man here that has competed in so many over 60 national squads, Morty Washburn, truly a underrated defenseman out here on the ice. And anytime you see him trying to break up a two on one, you know, it's, it's a big stop there for the Grey Wolves defensively. And now this next drive, they got to find a way to continue this defensive hold. Kaminal and Thomas on the faceoff. Harrison taken away by the Aces. Phil Sharico left side. Looking to finish to Rossi. Rossi shot. Knocked away off the right side by Rosengard. Finley with the rebound. Mickelson. This is Finley. Knocked away by Inman. Rico skating back, picked up by Sincata. Have to wait for Fernice to get on sides, and Sincata forced to dump it back in the black ace end. This is to Mickelson, to Thomas. Defended well by Harrison. Thomas now racing to the corner. Back is to Finley. Shot chance by Rossi, can't finish. Just to the right side, beautiful tic-tac-toe potential. And just a shot just off to the left side. Becker takes it up, 17 seconds to go. This could potentially be the last chance of the period. Becker shot wide left, picked up by Pernice. Mickelson feeds it up. Masher and shot blocked. Mickelson final shot, bounces off the glove of Rosengard as time expires in the second period. Nice little juice of momentum for both sides to see if they were gonna have a chance to score. Both sides defended well, and now we have a third and final period to look forward to. Grey Wolves extending their lead courtesy of a Todd Communal shot and goal. As right now the Black Ace is looking for some kind of opportunity here in the third period have to get more shots going, have to get more offense going. It's there, Angelo. It's just a matter of what can they do to capitalize and just come together as a team. Again, you have 12 minutes. All you need is two goals to keep it going. It's the simple basics of hockey. And right now for the Grey Wolves, this is a chance for them. If they feel comfortable with this 2-0 lead, they start playing a little bit more defensive here and just keep continuing to clear it out. Two periods in the books, one more to go here when we return. This is Over 50 Hockey's Game of the Week on the Pontella Broadcasting Network. Hey fans, don't forget that today's games are brought to you by Grandma's Cookies. Grandma's Cookies is one of the best brands out there for cookie packages. Grandma's Cookies comes in the various flavors of chocolate brownie, chocolate chip, peanut butter, and oatmeal raisin. So don't forget to get your Grandma's Cookies today. We're back at the Ice Sports Forum, third and final period as Todd Communal takes the face off against Wiener. Quicko to Becker off the right side, finds Communal, three on two chance for the Grey Wolves early. Bernice at left wing, can't field the puck and will be taken away by the Black Aces. And again, just a lack of positioning there by Panis and an opportunity wasted early on to stop the third period. Grey Wolves looking to regroup. Kaminal. Taken by Shiriko. 
Moved up by Mikita. Stripped away by Kami now, back to Becker. And how about this duo even today, Andy? Right now, Tal Komina and Jim Becker are just two players that you would not think in a million years could potentially be a great duo in a situation like this. They've just known how to connect with one another. And between Komina scoring and Becker just doing what he has done best thus far this season, it's being a playmaker and setting up the plays and shot opportunities for his teammates. Really a just a splendid job overall by this Grey Wolf team. Quicko. Chiquetto looking for Buckholtz. Tipped up. Here comes Sincata. Gives it off to Worsinski. And Mikita off the boards. Gets it back to Washburn. Back is Washburn, finds Buckholtz, taken away by Finley. Finley dumping it in the Grey Wolf then. This one comes over to Rosengard. Shiriko skating up for this one in the corner. Back is to Finley. Black Ace is another chance here to try to cut the deficit. Orsinski steps up, finds Finley, pass back to Thomas on point. Shot fired just off the left side. Back to Wersinski, another chance here for the Black Aces. As it'll be picked up by Chiquetto. Looking to clear it out the other way. Finley there waiting for the Aces. Wersinski tipped away by Washburn. Quick go. Up to Buckholtz. Gives it right back to Wersinski. Here comes Chiquetto at center ice. Chiquetto winds up for the shot. Kicked away by Hannon. Chirico. This is Rossi. And a stick in the face there by Rossi. No call again as Becker gets it out to Pernice. Set up the Becker shot. Fired and in. Tremendous work by this Gray Wolf offense. And just like we're mentioning again, that lineup of Todd Communal, Jim Pernice, and Jim Becker has done wonders thus far for this Gray Wolf team. And now a 3-0 lead as Becker gets one himself, his sixth goal of the 2019 summer season here in over 50 hockey. And the Gray Wolf's really on fire here today. Taken away by Thomas. Gets around Inman. Breakaway chance here for the longtime vet. Makes a move around. Denied by Rosengard. Oh, and you got to make opportunities of that. you got to find a way to score, especially in those breakaway chances. Rossi! Right where Mama hides the cookies. And the Black Aces are on the board for the first time today. Rossi, the rookie vet for over 50 hockey, comes in play. And just like that, his first goal of the summer 2019 season comes into fruition and now the Black Aces cut the deficit back to two again as the teams make a lineup change. Well again after that goal by Becca something needed to be done if you're gonna look to keep yourself in this game and right there tit for tat 3-1 game here eight and a half minutes remaining can't wait to see the rest of this squad. Mikita off the right side Defended well by Harrison. Back to Mickelson. Wind up shot by Wersinski. Rebounded by the Gray Wolves. This one back to Harrison. Buckles. Working against Wersinski. Buckles trying to find Sincata instead taken away by the Black Ace defense. Mashering gives it right back to Inman and the Gray Wolves. Puck bouncing near side. Mikita to Mickelson. Mickelson weaving his way around, looking for Wiener, can't get to him. Mickelson side shot. 
Shot side by Wiener and taken away by Inman. This will be cleared back towards the black ace end. So the Grey Wolves will take that opportunity to change their line. Fresh set of legs, their first lineup back in business. Becker with a stick in front. Mikita trying to give a whack that time. Becker in the corner, looking for the setup shot. Mikita with the rebound. Kaminal off the end. Knocked off the puck by Wersinski. Wersinski regrouping for the Black Aces. Off to Rossi right side. Rossi winds up for the shot, snagged by Rosengard. The shots are coming there. The Black Aces just need to continue to attack here. Again, like we said, and we can't stress it enough, Angelo, plenty of time here for the Black Aces provided they hold up defensively. They'll still have many chances heading down the final stretch of this game. Finley takes the shot himself, blocked away by Pernice. Washburn off the rebound. Becker trying to clear it out. Regroups to Washburn. Now back over to Pernice. Kaminal skating up for this. Has open room right side. No one there for the setup. This one pass Quicko back in the Grey Wolf end. Setup chance. Thomas brings it back out. Corner to Finley, now Mickelson on the point. Shot chance broken up, and here comes Sincata with Kaminao. Two on one for the Grey Wolves. Sincata. Still with the puck, shot fired, blocked away by Mickelson. What skills does Larry Sincata have now? The New England man himself just finding a way to get it done. Tremendous job by Sincata to just have that offensive puck possession. Washburn off the boards, finds Chiquetto. Open Becker right side, working against Wersinski. Shot knocked away by Hannon. Picked up by Wersinski. Finley off the boards, will choose to clear it out. Inman, blocked up by Masherin. Charles Inman on the move for the Grey Wolves. Back to Wersinski. This is Thomas, two on one chance for the Black Aces. Has Masherin. Thomas skates back in right on the corner. Trying to pull a fast one against Rosengard, but he will have none of it. As play will be halted with 4.51 remaining in regulation. And that time too, it looked like Jim Thomas was looking to try to keep it close, but maybe not intentionally trying to get it directly behind Rosengard inside that left post on our side. But now a chance for the Black Aces to regroup once more. Got to find a way to put it in the back of the net. Becker flips it high. Bernice showing pursuit on Wersinski, taken up by Buckholtz. Wersinski. Becker. Shariko trying to get to the puck, held up by Becker. Mikita. A chance here for Mashrin on the left side. Picks up to Wiener and regroups for the Black Aces. Looking to keep it in the Grey Wolves then could not. Harrison trying to keep it up a flow. He's got a chance. Two on one for the Grey Wolves. Harrison takes the shot himself. Kicked away. Sincata on the rebound. Off a of Black Ace defender and this one's coming back to the Grey Wolves. Pernice for the setup. Taken away by Mickelson. Buckles. Two for Nice. Back is the Sincata. Mickelson. This is Kaminal. Steps in front. Real chance here for Kaminal. Off, off the top shelf. And Kaminal's got two today. A big game here for the man in the region, Tor Kominao, has really had a spectacular game thus far. Two goals here today, really setting up well by his teammates. 
and that'll extend the lead to 4-1 for this Grey Wolf squad. Three and a half minutes remaining right now, and the Grey Wolves really have turned it on here today. Kamina with his fifth goal of the season as he takes the face off against Thomas. This one back to Quicko, Rosengard. Faces it up, Quicko regroups. Stopped by Finley. Shot off to the right side. Washburn will clear it out. Another icing call there, a very quiet game, a, uh, a gentleman's game if you will. No penalties as yet. Knock on wood with 3.08 to go in regulation. A 4-1 lead for this Grey Wolf team trying to jump back up to third place in the summer 2019 standings. And the Black Aces looking to avoid being another game behind the Blue Bombers. Rossi shot, swapped up and saved by Rosengard. And another offensive opportunity, like we said before, Angelo, the Black Aces are getting them. It's just a matter of finishing it right now. On a day like today where Rosengard has just been lights out, quick heads up reactionary skills, it has been nothing but trouble for this Black Ace offense struggling to score today. Washburn, Mrs. Thomas, this is up to Jim Becker. Becker back to Kaminao, looking for Pernice, taken away by Worsinski. <laughs> Pernice, looking to set this one up, knocked off of Jay Hannon. Shot up, Becker knocked away. Kaminao in the corner. Becker looking for options. Might look to Kaminao for a hat trick perhaps. Well, it is possible, but right now Todd's got to stay in there. He's got to be hungry for more. Washburn shot fired, deflected off of Rossi. Here comes another breakaway for the Black Aces. Rossi coming in like lightning. Shot fired, knocked and denied by Rosengard. Again, that has just been exactly the kind of day it has been today. Another shot chance for Rossi, knocked away. But Mark Rosengard really has shut things down here for the Grey Wolves right now. Really nothing they could do. Mickelson shot. Second hand effort for Thomas goes through. And over 50 hockey, second leading score cuts the deficit back to two again with 141 to go in regulation. And again, with that quick goal there for Thomas, just enough to perhaps maybe think some strategy over here. And so with that, timeout for the Black Aces as well. We'll take one ourselves. Not over yet, as there is a slim chance here for the Black Aces to come away with a late offensive surge here at the Ice Sports Forum. When we return, you're watching Over 50 Hockey on the, on the Pontella Broadcasting Network. And this, my friends, is what happens when you take oxycodone. Don't Go take oxy. Don't take oxycodone. Take Tylenol instead. This is a special message sponsored by the Over 50 Hockey Network, encouraging all players to take the right kind of medication to help you recover. Especially like Angelo Pontel, who takes oxycodone and goes crazy. More words of wisdom. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Oh, let it be. Mosey, whisper words of wisdom. Let it be. Don't take oxycodone. Take Tylenol. We're back at the iSports Forum in the final minutes of regulation. 4-2 Grey Wolves have just had a quite the offensive production day today over this Black Aces team that's just had opportunity after opportunity and just can't find a way to get it past Rosengard as they trail 
And right now, Andy, the Black Aces have to buckle down here. They have a chance here, and if you have six men, you gotta make sure you have the right people out. And when I say right people in this case, you gotta have Stewie Nicholson out on the ice, Jim Thomas as well, two big players along with Bernie Wisinski and Tom Finley. At the very least, you know, the other two can be wild cards at this point, but those four players I just mentioned, Angelo, is who you will need to have on the ice to make yourself to give yourself a chance if you should decide to go empty net. Grey Wolves already just a, like we were continuing on the point, a great day on the offensive side of things. Tom Buckholtz scoring the first goal for this Grey Wolves squad to make it 1-0. And then extending the lead was Todd Kaminal with his goal. And then it was Mike Rossi who cut the deficit to 2-1 before a Jim Becker goal extended the lead back to 3-1. A comfortable lead at that. And then Kaminal's second goal made it 4-1. And then just before the end of the break, Jim Thomas trying to get on the stat sheet with the goal himself. And so 4-2 game here, 103 to go. Black Aces go with an empty net here. In the final minute of regulation, Shiriko. Pressure shown by Chiquetto as Thomas checks it back side to Finley, far side. Defensive hold by Becker. Tapped down by Wersinski, trying to keep it in the black ace play. In the gray will then. Thomas, back to Shiriko. Bouncing off a few sticks. Mickelson, setting it back up. This is Finley. Finley winds up for the shot. Taken away by Buckholtz. Buckles looking to clear it out. He does. Black Aces have to regroup quick. Shiriko puts it back in the Grey Wolf end. Buckles. Back to Harrison looking to hold the puck. Three seconds remaining. Finley looking for a last chance effort. Can't get it off in time. So after a silent offensive week the previous week, the Grey Wolves come back strong and put it to the Black Aces 4-2. A strong win here to improve to 3-2-2 two two on the summer 2019 season. Black Aces dropping to 1-6 on the season. But again, Andy, if you're the Grey Wolves, this was exactly the kind of game you needed to get back on track in the season. Well, of course, and again, like we mentioned throughout this broadcast, what, between Jim Becker and Doug Radigan, with Becker back in the mix, he was a much needed player to get this victory today with the assists he's made today, alongside the goal scoring chances that Todd Communal has had today. Really a tremendous effort all around by this Grey Wolf squad. And meanwhile, for the Black Aces, a lot of chances here today, but Mark Rosengard really being stingy and just not letting him go in. Well, that's just the kind of player that Mark Rosengard is, you know, a strong performance there, you know, despite giving up the uh, two goals, you know, one late in the game and then the other one that was low scoring. He, re he really truly is one of those keepers that you just have to watch out for and you have to catch him on a bad day if you're going to have a chance. But today was not that day. Mark Rosengard really coming in clutch and helping get this keeper win for the Grey Wolves. So again, with the updated standings after seven games, Red Army in first with a 7-0 record. Not sure if they're going to be stopped with Woody Borch's production in that offense the Red Army has this season. But for the Green Hornets, they will still remain two games behind with a 5-2 record. In second, again, after a 3-2 win over the Golden Knights. Third place now belongs to the Grey Wolves, jumping to three. It's the Chris Coonan stick. It's the Chris Coonan stick. And so with that, we'll get to uh, what Todd just mentioned in just a little bit. But to finish up the uh, standings, Grey Wolves, three, two, and two on the season. That's the third. Golden Knights drop to fourth with a three, four record. Blue Bombers, two and five, and the Black Aces now at one and six, looking to keep their summer 2019 over 50 standings alive. So with that, Andy, 
uh, what Todd was just mentioning there that time, uh, a stick, because again, last week in in their loss to the Golden Knights, Todd Kaminal's stick got broke. John Castiglione tried to make a, a stop and ended up slashing Kaminal and, and broke his stick. So this was kind of a new stick that he was trying out today and sure enough, gets two goals. Well, you never know, Angelo. Sometimes getting a, a magic stick there, the I think he said the Chris Gruden stick, you know, two goals that's that's not bad at all you know that's that's pretty impressive to uh, come up with two much needed goals that ended up being the difference and of course again for Kaminal that stick providing the game winner for the Grey Wolves it doesn't get any better for the Grey Wolf nation everywhere so with that we want to thank all our viewers uh, watching this game today uh, thank you again for your viewership Grey Wolves next week and the Black Aces will have their games going check that no games this upcoming next week in observance of July 4th. Happy Independence Day to everybody. Hope everybody is safe. Don't blow your fingers up because that's been the MO as of recent that when you're dealing with fireworks, there's a lot of firework accidents that can happen. And of course, it's sorry about as well. Make sure you're safe as well. Try not to get too drunk if you're going to enjoy yourself on this 4th of July. But Angelo, it's been a privilege and a pleasure working with you again. Likewise, Andy, you know, every time we try to do these games, you know, I'm looking forward to all of these, but I'm not sure when we'll have another opportunity to do this, but it has been fun here. So for my co-partner, Andy Townsend, I'm Angelo Pontello saying so long, good night, and we hope everybody has a blessed evening. Take care, everyone, and happy 4th of July to all.